Hi guys, so today I'm reviewing this little Camvate cage, I hope I'm saying that right, Camvate, uh, cage for the Feel World LUT6 monitor. Uh, now, some people would say, you know, you don't need a cage, it just adds weight, adds size to your monitor, and I totally agree. I wish you could rock the LUT6 monitor without a cage. My big issue with the LUT6 monitor, even though this is not a review for the LUT6 monitor, this is the reason why I got the cage for it, is the LUT6 does not have uh, enough mounting points around it. Whereas when you get the cage, you can see that you have mounting points all the way around. You even have on the bottom, you can't really see down there, but there are locator holes for your uh, for your swivel mount to help keep the, the monitor obviously from swiveling back and forth like that. Uh, but my big issue, those other ones I could get around, but my big issue with the LUT6 monitor is the build quality of it. Now, when you're tilting the monitor up this way, it's not a big deal, but for some reason, they did not connect the screen very well to the actual frame of the uh, of the monitor. So if you have just the LUT6 attached to your swivel mount and you tilt it down and you have any sort of extra, you know, resistance down here, this bottom edge of the monitor actually lifts up from the frame. Totally do not want that to happen, especially when you're out and about. So that's why I went looking for a cage for it. So that way you don't have the mounting of the swivel mount directly to the monitor. This way, everything is nice and solid. Uh, so even though the build quality LUT6 is not, you know, total high end, uh, this cage definitely fixes that. So if you have the LUT6 monitor, I would highly recommend getting this cage. It's just going to give you peace of mind as you're banging your, well, hopefully not banging your camera around too much. But if you do bang the camera around or you're, you know, pushing really hard to get the monitor into the position you want it, you're not going to be affecting the monitor at all. Also, you know, when I run it on my Ronin RS2, I like to be able to take it from the top of my camera real quick and then put it on to my Ronin. I have a mount on there, but it has to come in through the top of the monitor, which is an issue because the LUT6 doesn't have a mount on the top. Now it does. Now, the only thing that I don't like about the LUT6, and I'm not sure if you can see very well down here, is the offset of the mounting points for your for your swivel mount. Because, let me take this off, because of the way that the cage actually mounts to the monitor, the pin that or the screw that holds the monitor into the cage is set dead center in the bottom of the frame. And you can see that right there, there's a screw that mounts the monitor or holds the monitor inside the cage. So when you mount your swivel mount, you either have to mount it below, above, or side to side. Now, if you do abo above or below, the monitor is going to be offset off your swivel mount, which not a huge deal, but it just doesn't look, you know, doesn't look square and gets a little annoying. So what I ended up doing is actually mounting it to the swivel mount to one of the edge on one of the sides of it. So it's mounted in the you know, center line of the monitor, but it's just offset just a little bit. Not ideal visually, and it's still a little annoying, but it works a lot better than trying to mount it on the top or the bottom. Other than that issue, this cage is solid. Obviously, it's nice, uh, nice aluminum, has some RA Rosette uh, locking locator pins, mounts right there on the top. So yeah, overall, I mean, gosh, the monitor is so cheap. Go out and spend 50 bucks on a cage and it just makes this monitor much more usable and yeah, just gives you peace of mind when you're out there using it.